<laughs> Are you comfortable? <sighs> not with you looking at me like that. I'm not looking at you like anything. Oh, stop looking at me. Stop looking at me! <laughs> Mr. Brooks, good morning. Don't be so rude, Edward. Oh, morning. Right, as previously explained, I'm going to ask you some questions <coughs> regarding the night of November the 5th, and I want you to answer in as much detail as possible. Do you understand? This is going to be a long day if you continue like this. Oh, shut up! Oh. Mr. Brooks, do you understand? <clears throat> yes, I fucking understand. I'm not an idiot. Debatable. I'll wait for you to calm down. <sighs> you think I'm an idiot? But would an idiot have had such a clever strategy? Strategy? Every night I watched. Did you know that? Every night I watched, and he never stirred. Every single night. Night. For one month, until the fifth. Why did you do this? I was observing. <laughs> Learning. I, I mean, he was no ordinary creature. Did you ever see him? He was evil. <laughs> evil? This is absurd. Mr Brooke, can you tell me why you believe this man to be <laughs> evil? <laughs> Not a man. <laughs> Not even human. It was his eye that gave him away to me. His vulture eye. It was pale blue, with a, with a film all over it. Every time it looked at me, my blood ran cold. I'm telling you, this was no man. OK, I understand. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please, continue your recollection of the events. I never disrupted his sleep. I was cunning, silent. I opened the door, just a crack. Enough so a beam of light would hit his face. A single ray was on that eye. It was open, wide open. The evil eye gleamed. I knew his time had come. Ah! I dragged him to the floor and pulled his bed over him. It was finished. But don't worry. I checked his body to confirm he was dead. I even held my hand over his cold heart. <sighs> Mr. Brooke, it says here on your file that you revealed the body was dismembered and hidden under the floorboards. What made you confess? Hurry up, Edward. Time's running out. Oh, stop that noise! Why did you reveal where the body was? Oh, be be because of that noise. Oh, that bloody noise. What noise? Oh, that tick. She uh, can't hear it. Uh, Mr. Brooke, there's no noise. Oh, that's what I thought at first. I'm afraid I don't know what you mean. Could you please explain? It, it was all going to plan. Once he was under the floor, the silence, it was so peaceful. And then it started. Oh, it's like, it's like he knew. Oh, even, even after I killed him. Oh, that evil creature. Oh, he, he wanted to expose me. And I, I couldn't take it anymore. Oh, and that damn tick, it, w it wouldn't stop. Oh, I, I, was, I was bound to get caught. So that's why you dug up the floorboards. <laughs> Idiots. Oh, 
I told you. Oh, I'm not. I'm not an idiot. I never said you were, <laughs> Mr. Brooks. I wasn't talking to you. Mr. Brooks, there's no one else here. <laughs> Who were you speaking to? <laughs> Excellent. This will prove that you're not crazy. Talking to someone in your head. Oh, oh, sh sh shut up! I'm not. I'm not crazy. Shut up! Of course oh. not. Mm. Of course you're not crazy. No. Killing me because you were scared of my glass eye. Evil eye! It's evil! Oh. Mr. Uh, Brooks, that's uh, not sufficient uh, reason uh, to take a man's life. Uh, think of something. Uh, Mr. Brooks, uh, I'm going to need you to uh, calm uh, down. That ticking just won't stop, will it? It's, it's so loud. Calm down, Mr. Brooks. You're like a walking time bomb. Uh, oh, shut up! Shut up! I killed you! I killed you! Shut up! No! Get off! Get off! Get off! Well done, Edwards. I'll always have my eye on you.